they are Baba, Mama, Da Jie, Er Jie, He Wu. So you know that Jie means sister. So by now you should know that culturally, Chinese look at family quite differently than we do. For example, they have separate words for big brother, little brother, big sister, and little sister. So the only reason why a language would differentiate between big brother and little brother and big sister and little sister is if it was important to the family structure. In English, it's just brother or just sister, but in Chinese, they differentiate it to, to by level. So you can tell that in Chinese, it's quite important. Not that you're a sister, but are you the big sister or are you the little sister? So here is another example of that. You know, da means big, so we have da jie. So that's pretty obvious. But here we have. The number two, R Jie. So if Da Jie is big sister, what is R Jie? He Wu. Baba, Mama, Da Jie, R Jie, He Wu. What does that mean? Father, mother, oldest sister, second oldest sister, and me. So in Chinese. If you have like three older brothers or older sisters, see usually in Chinese they don't even refer to their brothers and sisters by their actual names. They refer to their own brothers and sisters as "Hey brother" or "Hey sister." And in the case of when there's more than one older brother or one older sister,、uh, you would refer to your oldest sister as "Da Jie," big sister. That's how you would call her. Like if. You were trying to get her attention. She's sitting in a chair watching TV. You're not going to say, "Hey, Susie." You're going to say, "Da Jie." You're going to get her attention by saying, "Da Jie." Or if it's your second oldest sister, you would you would address her as "Ar Jie." Or you know, in some cases, you just might say "Jie" or "Jie Jie." But when you want to, when that order is specific or important, you'd say. All right, yeah. Sister, older sister number two. Okay, have a look at this. 你爸爸妈妈做什么工作 All right, so this 做 and 工作 is new to you. This 你爸爸妈妈什么 You know, 什么 means what. So it's a question, and there's no ma at the end of this question because we have a who, what, where, when, or how, or how many. In this case, it's what. 你爸爸妈妈做什么工作 So, 做 means to do, to do something. To do something. 你爸爸妈妈做什么 So, think about that for a minute. 你爸爸妈妈做什么 Just don't even worry about this gong zuo. You should be able to sort out the meaning of this whole sentence. Ni, Baba, Mama, zuo shen ma. And this should make the meaning of the sentence more clear. Gong zuo. Gong zuo means work or job. 你爸爸妈妈做什么工作 ？What does it mean? Pause if you want to think about it. Hmm. What do your parents do for work? So you, father, mother, do what work? 你爸爸妈妈做什么工作 ？What do your parents do for work? Again, the word order is kind of different here. So, the way I 
forced my brain to accept this new word order was just to repeat these phrases over and over again until they became comfortable. Here comes the answer to the question. 我爸爸是律师。我爸爸是律师。Okay, 律师, and we'll talk about the pronunciation of this in a minute. You've already seen it with nu. We'll get into that with the pronunciation video. 律, 律师, 我爸爸是律师, 律师 means lawyer. So, the meaning of this sentence should be pretty clear to you. My father is a lawyer. My father is lawyer. So here the word order shouldn't really bother you so much. It's pretty much the same as English. 我爸爸是律师。妈妈是英文老师. So you know everything here. My mom is a teacher. So we know our mom is a teacher. What is this? Ying wen. Ying wen is the word for English, as in the English language. You probably saw ying um, a couple units back as meaning England or Britain. Ying is the word for English, also for the English language. Wen is also means language, and more specifically, like written language. Um, but these two together, ying wen, is just a general word for the word English, or, you know, as in the English language. So, mama shi ying wen lao shi. The meaning to this should be pretty clear to you. Mother is an English teacher. And the word order here shouldn't be giving you too much trouble. It's exactly the same as English. Mom is English teacher. Okay. So she's finishing explaining what her family members do. So uh, dad is a lawyer. Mom is an English teacher. 哥哥,妹妹,都是大学生。so this do and da sheng are new to you. Do means both or all. Both. Guga Mei Mei Do So Big Brother, little sister are both. The R is kinda encapsulated in, in this sh. Notice the word order here. We would say Big Brother and Big Sister are both. In Chinese, it's big brother, little sister, both are. So what is this? 大学生 Okay. 大学, let's just come down to 大学 first. 大学 is university or college. 学, this is the same 学 from 学生. Like here. 学生, you know, is student. So 学 is study and 大学 big study is the Chinese word for university and then you just throw this 生 on the end of it 大学生 and it becomes university or college student so 哥哥妹妹都是大学生 so the meaning of that is pretty clear big brother little sister are both college students Okay, so she's done explaining her family members. And then, is it Bai Ying Ai or Leo comes back and explains who is in her family or what the members of her family do. So we have Wo Mama Ye Shi Lao Shi. So that's 
pretty clear you should know the meaning to that. My mother is also a teacher. 我妈妈 也是老师. My mom also is teacher. So notice this also you already learned, just like the do from the sentence before, meaning both or all, they all come before the verb shi. So in English, my mother is also, or my brother and sister are both. But in Chinese, these both and ye, they come before the verb. So you want to get used to that. Okay, my mother is also a teacher. 我妈妈也是老师. What's this 医生? 医生 means doctor. This e, this e here sounds just like the e for the n number one, but of course it sounds the same, even the same tone, but the character is different, has a different meaning. It means medicine or medical. Wherever you see this e, it has something to do with medicine or medical. Now you'll see that in Chinese the pinyin is very helpful, but it's limited because this e is the same as the e for, like I just told you, for the number one. But unless you're looking at the characters, there's no way you could tell the difference between e and e when one is a number and the other is medical. So by sticking sheng in this sheng, you'll see it stuck on behind a, a, a another noun to mean the person. Yi sheng is the doctor. Just like in student, you have xue sheng. This is the same sheng. So you have xue, which means study, and sheng. So this sheng is stuck on the end, you know, put together with words to mean the person that does it. So xue sheng is the person who studies, the student. And yi sheng is the person who is an expert at medicine or the doctor. Yi sheng. So, 我爸爸是医生. The meaning there should be quite clear. My father is a doctor. Okay, I'm sure you took some good notes as we went along. So I suggest either you watch this video again or you go back through the dialogue on your own, following your notes and and force your brain to accept these new sentences in the in the new vocabulary. Um, again, repeating them, I feel, is a good way for you to uh, force these into your brain. Your brain is going to want to naturally resist the new vocabulary and the new word order. But if you repeat it over and over again, it will all of a sudden become like second nature for you.